Hey guys, welcome to my corner of the internet. Today we're going to be going over my silver hair care routine. I have a lot of products and a lot of people might say it's a little extra, but um, having silver hair is a lot of upkeep, so if you're not committed to upkeep or you're very laid back and lazy with your hair, don't go silver or platinum blonde because it really is a pain in the ass. Um, but I love being silver and I love apparently having really dead bleached hair. So yeah, <laughs> if you're curious on how I keep my hair so silver, just keep watching. I mean, now that this video is going to go up, everyone's going to know that like I'm really not Storm's daughter. Storm from X-Men, you know? Did you guys know she had like an Asian daughter? Me. That's how I have silver hair, you guys. Anyways, that is besides the point. Start the video. So, I wash my hair once a week. It used to be twice a week, but now it's back down to once because I just had another bleach session and so my hair is very dry and very damaged. So here we are, it is what it is. Um, depending on what my hair looks like, like right now it's okay, it's still really silver and I don't really have a lot of yellow patches through my hair. I would just use like a normal gentle shampoo and conditioner and then go in with my IGK Mixed Feelings. These are purple leave-in these are, what does it say, leave-in blonde toning drops and you can just get some conditioner. I always do a hair mask or some kind of deep conditioner into my hair every time I wash my hair because it, it needs it. Um, I will pump my hair mask into my hand and put a few drops of this, mix it in my hand and put that into my hair so that it still knocks out some of the really, some of the yellow patches that I might have. Um, and it just kind of keeps my hair looking really vibrant. And I really like these. I don't really recommend putting this into like your leave-in conditioner. Because I don't know, like for me, it, it kind of like left my hair feeling crunchy. And I really didn't like that. I don't like my hair feeling crunchy. That's why I don't use hairspray, mousse, or gel or anything like that. But... These are great. So the day is that I do go in with two different purple shampoos and two different purple conditioners. Um, if you look back on some of my videos, like when quarantine first started, it's like really, really yellow. We'll insert a picture here for it. When it's like that yellow, I do go in with my Fanola. Um, and I only really use Fanola like if my if I've been washing my hair without any kind of purple shampoos and my hair is just getting really yellow and like really, really brassy, because I've noticed Fanola is really the only thing that'll knock out those yellows the way that Fanola does. Um, so I have the Fanola, I have both of them here. This one is the No Yellow Shampoo, and then this is the No Yellow Mask. Yeah, it says the mask. and. These last me quite a bit because sometimes I'll use these ones once a week. Concentrate. Um, I'll use these once a week. I used to use that a lot, Fanola a lot more when I was platinum blonde, but I don't really gravitate towards it anymore. Um, again, Fanola is a little trickier to use because the shampoo is very purple and then the conditioner is very blue. So if you leave one in too long, it'll make your hair look either more like kind of stained blue or stained purple, which is fine. Like for me, I don't mind that as long as it knocks out the yellows. But I know some people just want like pure icy silver or like pure platinum blonde. So you have to be really careful on how long you leave it in for. So that's something to remember. Um, after you use Fanola, I definitely, definitely recommend putting in a hair mask. The hair mask that I've been using is the Paul Mitchell Rare Marula hair mask. 
Um, this is rare marula oil and it says cold press marula oil but I really like this. I bought the shampoo and the conditioner. It's okay. I had higher expectations for it in all honesty but it is what it is. I like it enough to use it, to finish it. I gave the shampoo and conditioner away, but when I do use just like a normal shampoo and conditioner, but then I'm also doing a hair mask, I will mix IGK mixed feelings into this and it works great. So if my hair isn't really yellow, let's say my silver where it is right now, it's like freshly dyed, so it's like really silvery. Let's say it fades like a couple shades and starts getting to a really light yellow. I do go in with the Redken Color Extend Gradient. And I do have the shampoo and the conditioner. And I'll use these. And in all honesty, I do like these more because... They are more moisturizing, it's not as drying, and they don't stain and they don't stain your hands the way that the Fanola stains your hands. Um, quick side note, always grab like disposable gloves when you're gonna use the Fanola. I normally like grab a pair of gloves because they will stain your hands, like purple, blue, whatever color. And I've done it a couple times where I'm like, shit, I don't have gloves, and I'll just like work Fanola through my hair as fast as I can and like rinse it, but Sometimes you don't work fast enough, so. But I don't have that problem with the Redken Gradient, and I've noticed that the Gradient does leave it more silver like this, opposed to knocking it more of like a lavender or like a blue. So again, I don't really mind like that lavender or blue colors that'll hit my hair. I like it. Um, I get a lot of compliments on it too, and I, I think it's pretty, so. If Fanola, if I overtone my hair with Fanola, I really don't care. But if things like that bother you and you're leaning more towards silver like my hair, I definitely recommend the Redken Gradient. And use it in wet hair because I was on Ulta.com and I believe they were talking about like putting it into your dry hair and I'm like, it's a shampoo and conditioner you guys. But I also don't feel like it did what it did, like what I did try it just to see what it would do and I felt like it didn't really do anything. I, I prefer it wet, so I mean, but that's my opinion. So those are the shampoos and the conditioners that I use. Oh, and also, I know I talked about this in like one of my other videos, but I'm already like less than halfway, I mean, halfway through this, but I love this. This is the Redken Extreme Bleach Recovery, the Lamler Water. I, I'm die hard for this. Um, again, I'm using this now every other week opposed to every week. So I will switch between the maroon, sorry, I'll switch between these two. So if I use this, I won't use this. If I use this, I won't, or wait, if I use this, I won't use this. If I use this, I won't use this. There you go. That was a lot harder than I needed it to be. Okay, as for leave-in treatments, sorry, I have my stuff over here. That's why I keep looking. Um, as for leave-in treatments, I do use a couple things. My favorite one is, damn, I'm really on that Redken Kool-Aid right now. Okay, anyways, is the Redken One United, the 25 Benefits. Um, it's an all-in-one multi-benefit treatment, and I love this like it smells so good and it puts the keratin back into your hair so it makes it like more manageable again like if you have hair like mine you're probably bleached to like a level 10 or even more so this has definitely made it easier for me to comb through my hair and it my hair doesn't snap However, you do have to be really careful with this because if you put too much keratin into your hair, it can make it brittle and make your hair snap. So be careful. But I, I love this. I use it in wet hair, I use it in dry hair, and it smells so good. It's a little pricey because even with my discount, it's like $25 or $30, which is kind of high, so I don't know. Anyways. Love this, definitely recommend. 
Um, when I bought the Redken Bleach Recovery Lamlar Water, I also bought the Sika Cream, which is a leave-in treatment too. This is a leave-in conditioner. And I love this together. You don't have to... It smells so good. You don't have to use these together. I've met a lot of a lot of my cosy friends they're like no I don't use both like I just use this or whatever it is that they want to use and the last time I washed my hair I didn't use the lamlar water and I just put this one in and it worked really well this one smells really good too I still think the lamlar water smells better but this is a really good leave-in conditioner um, I don't know what Sika is I think it comes from a plant I like did all this research on Redken before I bought these products because I believe it's a newer launch but it's really really helped my hair and if I don't feel like using that I do use Olaplex number no. six and <laughs> this product definitely I like have a love-hate relationship with it this is probably like the sixth one I've bought. I blow through these because I like this. I have clean hair right now, but like let's say I get to like day four, or day five, and my hair is starting to look a little like thirsty. I do like to use this because you can use this in dry hair and it does bring my hair back and it makes it shiny and it smells good. And in all honesty, I didn't find another leave-in conditioner that I liked as much as this one because this is like a new purchase. I've only had this for a few weeks and I really like this, but I've never put this one in wet dry hair. So that's why I still have Olaplex number no. 6. It's like I go and I shop around and I try to find something better and I always come back to this. Um, I just tried the good stuff from Target that had like great reviews and I was like really excited to try it. I don't like it in dry hair. It makes your hair crunchy and stuff like that. So I'm back on Olaplex number no. six and I use this again on dry hair like a few days later. And the days that I do feel like I need oil in my hair, which you would think would be every day, but it's not. <laughs> should be though. I have the Marula oil, the rare oil treatment. I bought this when I bought the shampoo, conditioner, and the mask because I was like really thrilled. I don't know. I broke the squeezy thing. I can't fix it. I was really thrilled to try out this line because it was just so promising on how they kind of were advertising it. And I have really thick, coarse hair. So, and they said Marilla oils geared more towards my hair type, so I bought it. And it absorbs really nicely into the hair. It's clear, it leaves a nice smell. And I hate the smell of argon oil, even though I use lotion with argon oil in it. But it, like, in my hair, it lingers, and I don't like smells that linger in my hair. Just, I'm really sensitive with smells. So, anyways, I did like this. However, I think because it absorbs so quickly into my hair, it's not, it doesn't leave the shine that I want it to. Like, I like my hair to shine, like, shine bright, like a fucking diamond <laughs> and be beautiful. But it doesn't do that, but I still like it. It does detangle really well. If you get tangles in your hair, I like to, I obviously get tangles here and there. <laughs> this damaged hair? I don't have damage here anyways um i will put this in my hands and i'll just like finger comb through my hair and it does get the tangles out and prevents kind of breakage for me i don't have the oil that i really do like i do like the bio silk oil it is a thicker oil so like a little bit really does go a long way however that one has a really strong scent to it too so if you're sensitive to smells like I am, you're not going to like it. The smell doesn't bother me because I feel like after a little bit the smell goes away, but some people say it doesn't. Um, but yeah, it, I really like that oil. When I get through this one, that's probably the oil that I'm going to go back to. But tread lightly with that oil because 
the first time I used it. I put too much and then my hair got greasy and it takes a lot for my dry hair to get greasy. Okay, so I'm not a big dry shampoo person. Again, my hair is really dry, like my hair doesn't really get oily, but my hair will get limp by like day four or five. So just to put like some volume and texture into it, I do like the IGK First Class. It's a charcoal detox dry shampoo. And this smells so good. Jesus Christ, yeah. This smells really good. Um, and for people who have finer hair, like, and you want your hair to look more textured and, like, beachy looking, like, for me, if my curls fall like this, like, I'm fine. I don't really care. But if you like more of a textured look, if you just kind of, like, hold out your curls like this and, like, spray through it, it'll make it look piecier. I forgot where I was going to go with that. But it'll make it look piecier. Um, it does what it's supposed to do. And what I like about this um, dry shampoo is... It doesn't leave like a buildup of residue here. It took me so long to find dry shampoos on the market that didn't do this weird buildup here and like it would hurt my scalp. And I'm telling you, I have tried so many freaking dry shampoos. And I used the Joyco dry shampoo for years because I was like, no, it works. Don't fix something if it's not broke. And I was devoted to Joyco for a really, really long time. And then I found IGK, so sorry. And I know some people said like the Joyco one started to leave like a white residue in their hair, and I used it when I had all version hair, and I never noticed that. And my hair is pretty dark. I'm in between a level two and a three, so there's that. I don't know. And my last product is obviously heat protectant. I put heat to my hair once a week because I have. Do film videos and I don't want to look that crazy anyways um, I love the IGK good behavior and it says it's a spirulina protein smoothing spray keratin like treatment in a can 24-hour frizz control 450 heat protected so this is more marketed to like straighten out your hair but I don't straighten my hair so I got this because I was like, well, it's a heat protectant. I don't really have frizzy hair, um, but I really like IGK, so I just bought it to try it. It smells so good, like, and it works just as well as my Joyco heat protectant that I was using for a really long time, that I used for years, too. But I just wanted to try something new, and I recently discovered IGK probably towards the end of last year, and I have literally been in love with like everything that I've tried from them. Yeah, that heat protectant works really, really well. It does smooth out my hair um, and it makes it look shiny and makes it easy to curl and I do feel like it's doing something because like my hair doesn't feel that damn it. Like it doesn't feel like dry after I'm done blow drying or after I'm done curling my hair. I don't blow dry my hair. So I lied. My very last thing I'm going to share is my IGK Antisocial, and this is the Overnight Bond Building Dry Hair Mask. And I think this is one of the first products that I discovered through IGK, and I've, I think this is my second or third one. I've even given, like, Elizabeth one because I'm like, but you need this. Everybody needs this. Um, it's, oh. It says, with bond building complex plus vegan silk extract, this smells so good. Again, I feel like everything from IGK smells so good. Uh, I like this because I have insomnia. I really struggle sleeping, but I will put this in my hair. I'll just like spray it through my hair right before I go to sleep, let it sit, and then I'll finger comb. And it'll keep my curls in so like if I sleep with it or I normally put my hair up like in a loose top knot and I'll go to bed and then when I take my hair down my hair will still have its curls and stuff like that and I do feel like it does build the bonds because I did stop using this for a couple weeks and I started to have breakage in my hair like severe breakage like underneath here and it's funny because I was like, oh shit, like why am I having so much breakage? And it was legit like when I stopped using this. So I started using it again and I'm not having that kind of issue anymore. 
So, yeah, like, sketchy some. I know, like, I feel like all I use right now is Redken and IGK, but those are kind of the brands right now that have really helped my hair. I've tried a lot of other products. When I was platinum blonde, I was hooked on Joyco. Um, but, you know, your needs change, and you gotta fulfill those needs. Anyways, guys, I hope this video was somewhat helpful on my silver hair care routine. I know it's long, I know I have a lot of products, but it's not easy keeping my hair this color. Um, so be committed. Oh, and another question that I get a lot is how long did it take me to get here? Um, when I first went platinum blonde, it was probably like three or four bleach sessions, so like four months. Um, I My hair's pretty tough, like it can take a lot of bleach sessions without it breaking. Um, but then when I had to dye my hair back and then I was pulling out like black hair color out of my hair, that took seven months. So, and that was me pushing it. Like I shouldn't have been able to get silver in seven months. So, Keep that in mind. If you have finer hair, it's definitely going to take you longer. You do have to be very patient trying to get to this hair color. It doesn't happen overnight. And again, mine took seven months. <laughs> I definitely went through stages of like really ugly hair colors. I had to fly with these really ugly hair colors. And I think at my final bleach session, we ended up having to cut like over 10 inches of my hair off like yeah in November we ended up cutting it up to here my hair grows really fast that's why it's like long again my hair's always grown really fast um and I swear it was like that short like when I was kind of in shock I was like oh shit I didn't expect to <sighs> anyways um but yeah that is I hope that kind of helped with kind of like setting some expectations in your hair. Normal people, it can take like a year to get silver or platinum blonde. But yeah, do it the right way. Go to a professional. And yeah, I don't bleach out my own hair. I will tone my own hair and I'll like put toners and stuff like that, into, like speed toners and stuff like that into my hair, but I do not bleach my own hair, guys. Bleach is so finicky. Don't do it. Anyways, I hope this video helps. I'm gonna go. Um, don't forget to tap that subscribe button and that notification bell because we upload every Mondays and Fridays and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.